It is so fun to watch the season finale together because we have no idea who Juan Pablo's going to pick. And we all love this show, and it's a fantastic girls' night out for a great cause. So dozens of gals were gathering in Gilbert tonight to watch the big Bachelor finale. And uh, you can't beat the inflatable big screen that they have there. Not only did they turn the season into a game, they also raised a lot of money for the Susie Foundation. That's a nonprofit helping children who have special needs. And our own Stephanie Hawkridge just sat down with this season's Valley contestant on The Bachelor, Kat Hurd. Now that the finale is a wrap, she can finally tell us what went down behind the scenes and the moment she knew things with Juan Pablo would never work. A last-minute decision, I decided five days before I had to leave that I was going to go on the show, turned into a life-changing journey for Bachelor contestant Kat Hurd. With four suitcases and two carry-ons, you do all of your own makeup, all of your own hair, bring all of your own clothes. She took off from Sky Harbor Airport and landed in a fantasy world of reality TV. Kat, we just have this for Absolutely. Was he what you thought he would be? No. <laughs> I wish I could say different, but um, he wasn't necessarily as genuine as I had hoped. Because she says Juan Pablo wasn't looking for love. I don't think he ever used the word wife. I didn't get that, like, forever vibe from him. I got the, like, convenient for now vibe. Did you like him at all? I, I did at the beginning, yeah. But the group date in New Zealand poisoned her rosy daydreams. Anyone that's going to throw poop at me, I'm really, I don't know if we're meant to be together. Part of the reason why. And when things got serious in South Korea and Kat opened up about her mom's battle with cancer and losing her father five years ago. He never once was like, it's okay, or like, I'm so sorry, or like, reached out and put a hand on my shoulder or anything like that. He wasn't listening. While the fantasy disappeared, Kat's reality started to blossom. I learned so much about myself. You have to kind of explore your feelings in a way that you don't in real life. Still, she admits it was the worst breakup ever. I got dumped, and then I had to fly across the ocean home solo. <laughs> and not first class, I assume. Definitely not first class. I was like, can I get some champagne, please? And in this case, that may be better than a final rose. Stephanie Hawkridge, ABC 15 News. And there's more you haven't heard yet. Oh, yeah, she's in L.A. tonight. She's been texting with us, calling what she saw tonight soul-crushing. Oh, so hard to watch. The entire interview, though, with Kat was just posted for you on ABC15.com, so you can check it out whenever you get a chance.